Hey guys, it's Am back with you with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create thumbnails for your YouTube videos or for your um, Facebook posts or any blog that you have. It has a lot of options, the website that I'm using to create my thumbnails, so I'm sure that you're going to be covered in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I do because I really enjoy creating thumbnails. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so he I'm here on my Mac. This works also on Windows because this is not a software that you download. This is basically a website that you're going to use. So this is the website. Make sure to open it from the description so you can be able to use it like I do. Uh, so it's in the description. So as you can see, you can here go to home or the features if you want to go in depth on this website. Or you can watch this 15 second demo. Or you can just watch the tutorial. I'm going to use it um, to create a thumbnail for a video that I finished so I'm gonna publish it today so I'm gonna put that thumbnail on my video so for you you're gonna press on get started and create an account but for me I have already been using this website for so long so I'm just gonna press on login what's great about this website is that it saves everything that you've used previously so for instance we have all these posts these kinds of um, sizes as you can see social media posts and blogging and headers and also everything that you need to use as you can see you can always create your own sizes but for today's video i'm going to be using the youtube thumbnail so i'm just going to click on it and it's going like, to get loading and you have all these features you can unlock them by purchasing them but we're going to do create from scratch so once you're here the first thing you got to do is choose a background and then you can add effects and all that stuff for my case, uh, the background that I'm using is uh, a screenshot of my home screen. So as you can see, um, you're going to do the screenshot and if you don't have it here, you're just going to press on upload and then find it and then add it. But I've already done that, so I'm just going to click it and it's going to be here on this background. But for today's thumbnail, I'm not, I don't want this to be looking like this, so I'm just going to go to effects and blur it a bit. Okay, so after that's blurred, I'm going to go and add graphics on it. We have here texts, but we're not going to be using the text now. After the graphics, we're going to be doing it. We have graphics and we have shapes, uh, but we're going to be using graphics. Um, you can search for graphics, like for, for instance, you can type in Mac and then press on search. It's going to give you all these things. But the thing that I'm using for or looking for is not here. So I've downloaded it from Google. And then press on upload image and these are the two things that I uploaded. The first one is a Mac OS X PNG file. Uh, you're just gonna resize it and for today's video I'm gonna resize it and put it here. And I'm gonna do the same for this finder PNG file as well. Uh, I'm just gonna do the same and resize it and also put it here. As you can see they both look really professional and really good. So then it's time for adding um, texts so let's see we're gonna first uh, add the headline I'm gonna type in completely oh sorry okay after you've added the text you can um, resize and all that stuff using this um, this right here you can um, put it on 80 maybe so it's gonna get bigger so I'm just gonna resize it and, and drag it here and I'm gonna change the color to white okay and also the font that I'm going to be using is going to be, let's see, we have a lot of really, really good fonts. I always have trouble uh, choosing one because they're all so good. Okay, so this is the font that I'm going to be using. I really like it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the one that I'm using. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's just see, 100. Okay, 100 is really good. So, yeah. Maybe we can choose this heavy one because it's going to be readable more because this is again a thumbnail. Okay, uh, I'm going to add another headline. Uh, I'm going to type in uh, Mac. Okay, uh, let's choose this to be yellow. And the thumbnail, I'm going to choose a thumbnail which is going to be like uh, really thin. So let's see here. Your exo thin is really good. Okay. Let's make this really big so it's gonna be readable. 150 is good. Okay. And I think this is really thin. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this 
Thumbnail looks really good, so I'm gonna choose this thumbnail. Um, Predator Dragon right here, and add another headline and type in programs. And then we're gonna type in 100%. 100% because this is basically what the video is about. I'm gonna type here a subline, a sub, uh, subheading, no software. Then drag it down here. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is how we created this thumbnail. And after you finish it, you can just uh, press on save and then um, save it or just press on download so that's it guys i hope you guys uh enjoy this website and have as much as fun as i do because i really love this website for creating thumbnails so be sure to use it every time you need to create a thumbnail and for today's video that's it i hope you guys enjoyed thanks and help me reach 200 likes it's gonna be really helpful so thanks a lot